We're sitting in a wonderful place where we get to see the horses faces on the way out and they all look so happy and 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 ready to still go. Now this next rider, Lauren Kiefer, with Snooze Alarm, this is her first time here at Rolex. Although she's had some great experience, sounds like some, some good wins or successes here in the past. Last year they finished eighth at the Jersey Fresh CCI, seventh in advanced division at Morven Park, and won an in intermediate division at um, Plantation. So they're uh, they're coming in with some good experience, but it is her first time here at uh, at Rolex. This spring they also placed ninth in advanced division at Pine Top and tenth in the advanced at Poplar Place. So that's got to be, look at the nice rhythm he's got here. See, that's a good thing for her to show outside the ring. Now she's got to keep it. Yeah. So now she showed us that she has that. So now we're going to expect expecting it. it in the ring. And she's keeping it here. So if she can keep that in her collected trot and everything she does, she's going to get nice marks in her trot work. Mm -hmm. Fun to see some of the up and coming members of the sport as well. Exactly. And you have to think too, is they, they're coming into this big competition. This is Rolex. This is this is huge for them. Mm -hmm. And their first time in here, it's it's got to be exciting. And also too, is it being the um, the test event for the World Equestrian Games? They can come in here, imagine and imagining being at the World Equestrian yeah. Games. It's got to be pretty, pretty inspiring. inspiring. Yep. So she's keeping a really nice tempo outside the ring. They've, they've rung the bell. She can go in. Just here gathering her thoughts. It's interesting how different riders prepare and what they, what's going through their minds as they go in. It's also interesting, too, to see which lead the rider chooses to come in on. Oh, the right hind leg's a little behind, although he, he started to come into a very nice halt, but the right hind leg is behind. And I was going to say good into the trot, the first step, but then she lost the rhythm and broke. Okay, now let's look for her to get that nice suspension again in the trot. And she is. Very nice. Good, and if she keeps pushing it and then works the, ha the half halt and collects but keeps the same suspension. Right. Yeah, there she's got to stay really even because he can there. There you see that he's got that nice bounce. So she's got to really stick with him. She's got to sit very, very deep into the saddle and keep that energy coming from the back end. So it's her job to keep that momentum going and the bounce and the swing. The walk needs to stay in a, in a real yeah. four beat. Pivoted a little bit there. Yeah. Her wet too, it looked like. Here and here she, can, here she can get some points, so that's it. She's sitting quite nicely here. And now with the half out and keep the hind end coming under and the forehand up. Good. Okay, there she kept the tempo much better, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. It stayed really even throughout. Mm -hmm. Nice tempo in the, in the shoulder in. And let's see her flow right over into the half pass. In her position, she was leaning just slightly with her shoulders over to the right. It helps the horse more if you lean in the same direction, just ever so slightly and it helps his balance a little bit more. So there we go again to the thing about how important the rider's position that it is. And again, she's got to push him right up to the halt so that he stays round. Good, she showed very, very good immobility. Yeah. Showing that he was really listening to her aid. Yes. This walk, she's got to be real careful that he doesn't get lateral at all on his steps. And here he's 
just relaxing through his neck. Notice to her hands, she's got very nice hands, very quiet, they stay low and steady. Now she's got to bring the haunches up to the forehand with a steady rein and right into the counter. Good, and there you could see again, she's got very, very giving hands. She allows her horse to work. Good with the balance. Oops. Shouldn't have said that. And here you can see this horse really anticipates that change. He knows what's coming, anticipated it, and he just snuck that change right into her. Again, if you watch the, the rider's upper body, again, I would have her lean just a little bit more to the left, just to help his balance a bit. Okay, so here, she was, she really did that transition nicely. She stayed collected at F, and then she made a real difference in the canter stride from a collection to forward. Important for the marks. So here she did a very nice flying change. She, that flying change she did well because she kept him really on the outside rein when she asked for the change. It would be the new outside rein, so it would have been the left rein. And she, she came through with the inside leg, which helped him balance across from the inside. Let's see if she does it again. Yes. Okay, so now let's watch as she comes across this diagonal. She'll push with the right upper leg over to the contact of the left rein to keep him straight. And he wanted to scoot a little bit. She did a, she stayed in correct position. And so she saved that change from what could have been uh, him scooting away even more. So, oops. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Uh, that was a shame, but then he came to a really nice square halt. So again, we're seeing really, really good riding. We're seeing the, these riders focusing and concentrating a lot on their dressage and working on details. They're getting great coaching and taking it very seriously. And we're seeing riders one after the other come out and do a really, really good job. And for her first time here at Rolex, I think she should be pretty happy. Really so happy. Nice. She's got to be very, very happy. With you go, the 59, I would, you know, I would have stayed more in the 60 area. Yeah, it's a little low. Yeah, it would be for me. For me. I appreciate the, the riding that she did in between.